tournament featuring the North Quincy Red Raiders and the Quincy Presidents. This is a first, this is the first home game uh, ever played in Quincy Youth Arena uh, for the state tournament. This is the first time these two teams have met in the state tournament and this also will be technically almost a city championship game as the teams split both games at the beginning of the season. Right now we'll go to the rink announcer, Michelle Stenberg.
here as North Quincy will open up with Brandon Gilmore, Jimmy Fitzpatrick, and Teddy Finnegan, their top line, going right up against Quincy's top line with Ted Walsh, Casey Conley, and Sean McKenna. Max Adams is in the net tonight for North Quincy, keeping with Coach Bob Doyle's rotation, which has worked very successfully as he has two good goaltenders in Max Adams and in Matty Connors. Jeff Giordani will be between the pipes for the North Quincy Red Raiders. I'm expecting a, a very good game here, a very tight game. As, as I've said, if you've been with us this season, they split. Quincy won the first time, North won the second time, and we're now underway, and we have a little bit of an offside and a whistle. Tonight's referees, tonight's officials for tonight's game are Frank Keough and Bill Walsh, uh, as selected by the MAIA. And uh, five minutes into the game, we had a brief offside. Draw was controlled by North Quincy. Fitzpatrick throws it down in behind Giordani, where it's picked up by Conso. Conso knocks it up along the wing boards to Seamus McKenna, who tries to break it out, heads it down halfway. There won't be any icing. Walsh is on. Walsh is right on Matt Fury, but Fury plays it off to the side where it's just thrown a little bit in front. Quincy's opening up with a lot of heavy-duty forechecking to start this game. Quincy is the run-and-gun team. North Quincy High is more of a, a little tight defensive knit team. Uh, as I've said earlier in the season, Quincy comes to play. It's like a pawn game, up and down, speed, speed, speed. North is a little more uh, defensive-minded team, plays a little bit more of a tighter game. Quincy won the first game uh, four to nothing, and North Quincy won the second game five to one. So this is anybody's game. It's almost like a home game. This is this is a first for the city of Quincy, as I said earlier. As these teams are meeting for the first time in the state tournament, and also this is the first for Quincy Youth Quincy Youth Arena to be hosting an MAI game, and it's great for the city. As as you'll see as we pan the crowd, uh, this game is absolutely sold out. At 7 o'clock, there was a line 200 deep to get in here. Uh, if you look around the glass, you'll see that they're 8 and 9 deep. Upstairs is nothing. It's standing room only. As I look around and I see, I see faces uh, that have been in, this, been in this rink 20 years ago as everybody comes out to uh, root both these teams on in this South Sectional Division II opening round game. Okay, they have changed up, and Quincy's got... Mark Gilbody and Anthony Gilbody out there along with Nicky Massoni who just threw it in front and and Max Adams made the save and we're going to have a draw just to the just to the left of Max Adams as Casey Conley Walsh and McKinnon are back out there as coach Coach Sylvia is opening, is opening up with uh, just skating two lines. That's a little bit of a change. He normally skates three lines, but he's going to play the matchups, I guess. And North Quincy has responded by sending out uh, Finnegan, Fitzpatrick, and Gilmore with Canavan and Valpondo on defense. Puck control by North. Gets it in front. Oh, tried to be tipped in by Walsh, but... Adams was stuck the leg out, kicked it off to the side. Now here comes North Quincy carrying out. Fitzpatrick way up top to Gilmore. Gilmore streaking down the right side. He's in all alone. He lets it go. He fires it high over the right-hand glove side of Giordani as Gilmore streaked down the right wing. Uh, made a nice bid, but he uh, shot it high and wide because that was really the first good offensive chance of the game. Puck thrown in front, controlled by North Quincy right now as this line of Fitzpatrick, Gilmore, and Finnegan has opened up playing very well. We got a whistle, and it looks like the net was uh, dislodged, so we're going to have a face-off uh, outside, outside the Quincy zone as both teams now change up again. Quincy sends out Gilbody, Gilbody, and Missoni. And they dump it down into the Quins again. Adams throws it up along the boards where it was controlled by Mike LaBelle. Mike LaBelle throws it back in. As Zach McCall tries to get it out there as, as Coach Silva has sent out the other line. Andrew Bythrow, Kevin Keith, and Zach McCall as North Quincy tries to get it out of their own end. As they, they have Winter McKeon and Matt Rodriguez out there. Puck now slapped back down into North Quincy again where Adams will just 
throw it behind his net where it will be picked up by defenseman Matt Fury who tries to send up, sends it up to Winter on the right wing. Winter's uh, one on three, but he does get it in. Giordani just throws it behind his own net where the puck's loose now. Picked back up by Quincy. Here comes Quincy breaking out. Looks like Mike Leone on defense. Very offensive-minded defenseman. Does not hesitate to rush the puck, and all, but does a fine job. But he's very fast skater and always gets back. Here's Winter again, and Leone was back to control the play, and he throws it back down into the North Quincy end. As it's more of a, just a feeling out in these opening few minutes as they are going up and down. Puck controlled now by Quincy, throws it in. Kicked off to the side by Canavan. Now thrown back in, and Adams makes his first tough save of the game. And he's right there to hold on. And we'll have a whistle as we've played just about four minutes in the opening of this opening first period. A very quick pace up and down game. And we're going to have the face off just to Adams' as right as Fitzpatrick is back out there along with Finnegan and, and Gilmore and Walsh, McCauley and Seamus McManus are out there for the Quincy High Presidents. The Quincy High Presidents were the number eight seed in the division and the North Quincy Red Raiders were the number nine seed in the division as Quincy High was 10-6-3 on the year. They had a very good year and North 10-6-4 uh, and four rather and North Quincy High was 10-7-3. and three. They also, uh, they had a great second half uh, as they came from a little bit back, uh, made, up, made, up some, made up some ground, and qualified for the tournament. The uh, winner of this game will face the number one seed uh, in the South Sectionals in Division II, uh, Franklin, uh, on Thursday night. But, uh, and I'm sure the city of Quincy will be well represented by uh, whichever team wins this game tonight. Draw was controlled by Quincy. They knocked it out uh, into the zone, but now it's fired up. Now it's picked up by Winter as he's trying to rush around the corner, but Mike LaBelle pinches him off into the right-hand corner, and the puck goes back up into the right. Canavan pinches in, tries to throw it on net, but he throws it uh, into the back. Now it's picked up by Conso. Conso's behind the net, trying to get it up the wing boards. Gets it up the wing boards to Zach McCall. McCall can't handle it, he throws it back in and now LaBelle has it as they're trying to get it out as Quincy now has McCall by throw in and Kevin Keith out there. Uh, Quincy just changing up on, on defense as they're making a line change now as North's trying to take advantage but it's thrown back down into the uh, Quincy end. We're going to have ice and we're going to have a face off up here in the North Quincy zone just to the right of goaltender. Uh, Max Adams. Six minutes gone by here in the first period. No score. About two, sh two shots on net for both teams. Uh, we've got the Fitzpatrick line out there for the Red Raiders who break away. Fury on defense. A very offensive minded defenseman. He takes it to the right. Tries to feed it up front. He still controls the puck. Throws it in front. But it's banged away by Anthony Gilbody. Anthony Gilbody. But it's thrown back in front of Fitzpatrick. Patrick fires and Giordani kicks the leg out and makes the best save of the evening so far. That was a great scoring opportunity for Captain Jimmy Fitzpatrick, but Giordani was right up to the test. Finnegan flips it around the corner, he bangs it, and the net became a jar again, but Giordani had made the save. This uh, Fitzpatrick, Gilmore, and Finnegan line uh, has shown a little bit of uh, strength here in the opening opening minutes of the, of the first period. And Quincy's responding by, they're sending their top line out. They're going to uh, play top line against top line uh, here in the opening minutes of the first period. Draw controlled by North Quincy. Finnegan with the puck along the left boards. Gets it in, gets it into Fitzpatrick as there was a, a penalty on the play, which uh, I didn't see. I'll have to get the number. So North Quincy is on the power play. It was a, it was a penalty on Quincy as North is controlling the puck right now in the Quincy zone as Quincy's trying to kill off the penalty. They've killed the first 30 seconds uh, and North really hasn't got a uh, shot on net yet but they're working hard. Puck's behind the net, LaBelle throws it along the boards but it's kept in and it's banged out by Walsh who clears it the length of the ice and he's coming right down after it with Max Adams throws it behind the net and swings it around. 
Fury can't control. It's picked up by Casey Conley. He's ragging the puck in the neutral zone. But it's stolen by Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick's breaking in. He's in on the left side. Save Giordani. Save Giordani. Two big saves by Giordani right in a row as Fitzpatrick picked up his own rebound. But Giordani was up to the task and made two very strong saves as he's uh, looked really tough here in the opening minutes. And he holds the puck right there. A very good power play for the Raiders. But the man in the pipes tonight for the Quincy High Presidents, Jeff Giordani, has uh, responded very strongly uh, during the first minute of that power play. All right, we got a replay coming up. Okay, no, we went back to live action, and the draw was controlled by North Quincy, but they lost it, come out of their zone. Canavan with the puck now. He's looking over, he dumps it in the middle, but it's picked up by the Quincy defense and they throw it back in a neutral zone. Puck now picked back up again by Winters. Winters gets it ahead to Josh McKinnon. McKeon, Josh tries to throw it in front, but he can't, he's knocked off the boards. Matt Rodriguez has it over in the corner, but he's being pinched very hard by defenseman Scott Valentini, uh, who's doing a nice job there behind the net and now Quincy throws it back out and it's back into the neutral zone. Masoni Ford checking on the play, can't quite catch up to Canavan as Canavan throws it back out into the neutral zone. Picked back up by Kevin Keith who throws it on net and Max Adam throws it over to the side. Where it's thrown out by the North defense, picked up again by Canavan. Canavan throws it in the middle. He was looking for Gilmore break and Gilmore did sneak through, takes it behind the net, tries to bring it in front. Giordani has to uh, put his glove on it as he's going to control the play down there as sophomore sensation Brandon Gilmore of the North Quincy Red Raiders I didn't think he could make it through that little space but he gave it a little extra and he snuck through there picked the puck up and almost put it home draw controlled by North Quincy again thrown in on Giordani Giordani makes another save Giordani keeping the presidents in the game here in the uh, first period as we're a little more than halfway through but here comes the presidents breaking out thrown down in into the uh, North Queens again by Mark, Gil, uh, by Mark Gilbert. He's out there with his brother Tony and Nicky Massoni. Puck now controlled by the Raiders. The Raiders throw it out in the neutral ice. Leone picks it up, throws it back into the North Quincy zone where Joe Valpondo is trying to pick it up. He brings it around the net, tries to get it out of the zone, but he's unsuccessful. No, now it's picked up by Gilmore. He throws it and it goes up into the benches. As we've played nine minutes in a scoreless game here, I'd have to give a little bit of the edge to the Red Raiders so far uh, as far as offense goes. But as I said earlier, the Quincy High presidents are a very explosive, offensive-minded team. They can score fast. They can score quick. They can score in a hurry. But uh, the Red Raiders uh, appear to be up to the task, and I'd have to give them a little bit of an edge right now maybe a 60-40, maybe even 55-45. A very well played game so far. Puck controlled by uh, Quincy. They throw it back in where it's picked up by Valpondo behind, the, behind his own net as he tries to feed it up along the wing boards to Joe Morris. Morris throws, uh, Morris loses it, Walsh picks it up, throws it in, but Adams is up to the task and makes the save. Now the puck is iced by Quincy. And we're going to have a face-off down here in the North Quincy zone, just to the left of Max Adams in the North Quincy high net. A little quiet in here. I expected a little more noise uh, from the student from the student body sections, as uh, both schools are well represented by uh, not only students, uh, current students, but former students, alumni parents, city officials, as we do have, uh, I'm sure we're at capacity, we may even have had to turn people away tonight, which is uh, an outstanding accomplishment for the people of this city, as they've done a fine job in coming out here to root uh, both these teams on, uh, the Presidents and the Raiders, depending upon uh, where your allegiance lies. Puck controlled by the Presidents, they throw it back down into the into the North Quincy end where it's picked up by Joe Canavan. Canavan bangs it out where it's picked up by Josh McKeon. Josh throws it down, takes a hit along the boards. Uh, Nash Winters in to do the four checking. Conso on it, throws it behind Giordani around to the other side 
where it's picked up by Fury. Fury trying to keep it in, does keep it in, throws it behind the net, throws it back out in front of McKeon. McKeon gets a great shot on that, and again, Giordani comes up with the save as Giordani has kept the presidents in the game during the first period. He's made a half a dozen strong saves uh, so far during the period, and he's kept his team in the game. Draw controlled by uh, nobody, picked up by Leone. Leone throws it up along the boards. Fury gets it. It's tapped in front by Fitzpatrick, goes up over Giordani's head. Uh, nice play by Fitzpatrick, but he, he rung it up a little high, and we have an offside as the puck just snuck by the blue line, and we uh, will have a face-off just outside the Quincy High, just outside the Quincy High zone. Fitzpatrick, Gilmore, and Finnegan out there right now for the Raiders. Casey Conley, Teddy Walsh, and Seamus, Seamus McKenna are out there for the Quincy High presidents. Walsh, the captain of this team, controls the puck, fires, fires it high and over the shoulder of Max Adams. Good shot, but a little bit high. Finnegan picks it back up. It's picked up by Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick can't get it in. Uh, we have a delayed offside coming up as the presidents try to get it out of their zone. And they are successful in getting it out of their zone where it's picked that back up by Fury. Fury throws it back into the Quincy end. Finnegan on the forecheck. Picked up by Walsh. Walsh gets it up to Casey Conley. Casey Conley trying to come down along the right boards. He's handled very well by Canavan. Uh, Canavan hangs in tight. Took a little stick under the chin, but he responded well. Looked like uh, he was a little bit shook up, but he's staying out on the ice. As he picks up the puck, as he brings it out of the uh, North Quincy end, where it's picked up by Matt Rodriguez, does a little uh, couple of stick fakes as he tries to dump it, looking for uh, Joe Canavan, but Canavan couldn't quite reach it. And now we're back with play in the neutral zone. Puck picked up by Joe Valpondo. Valpondo. Takes it the length of the ice, coming down along the right boards, trying to throw it in front, looking for Rodriguez. Nash Winters now over in the corner. Picked up by Canavan. Canavan keeps it in, throws it in. Well, it comes out into the neutral zone, but it's now thrown back into the Quincy high end. Uh, McKeon on the puck, throws it in front to Giordani as it was tipped by Fitzpatrick, but Giordani again was up to the task. He controls the puck. And we've got a little bit over two minutes and 20 seconds left here in the first period in a scoreless tie. A very quick, well-played first period as both teams have come to play. North Quincy High looks a little bit more excited, but here's Quincy with a nice two-on-one break. Puck controlled by Seamus McManus, but it's broken up on defense by Joe Valpondo, who did a nice job on defense as he broke up the two-on-one. He throws it back behind the net looking for Finnegan. Can't quite get it to him. Picks it back up. Now he gets it up to Finnegan. Finnegan bringing it up the right boards. Way up to Gilmore. Great pass from Finnegan to Gilmore as Gilmore tries to get in, but he's pushed off to the side by Leone. Then there was a nice flurry and run in front where Fitzpatrick had a shot. Now we get a penalty coming up on the Presidents with 1.38 left, a delayed call. The call was on Fury. Fury's going off for tripping, so the last minute, with one minute and 38 seconds, the Presidents will go on the power play. Okay, we got a replay of the trip coming up. As you can see, Conley breaking out, gives him a little head, and he goes right into the middle, and over comes Fury. Fury gives him too much of the stick, and down he goes, and he's out for a minute 30. Now we're back to live action. As we uh, almost had another penalty call, but uh, the refs let that one go as it looked like one of the Quincy players was dragged down, but North Quincy throws it down the other end. 115 left in the period, 106 left on the penalty. This could be a very... Very decisive power play as if Quincy could score, they could go into the locker room with a little bit of momentum. But Max Adams just made a great save as Conso threw it on net and Adams got the leg out. Puck controlled by Walsh. Walsh is looking around. Throws it behind to Seamus McManus. McManus now has it, gets it back out to Leone. Leone fires and Adams kicks out the leg and makes the best save of the night for him as that was a low burner that was aimed for the corner, and Max Adams got his leg out and made a great save 
and Nash Winters grabs the puck and throws it down into the Quincy High end. 34 seconds left in the period, 25 seconds left on the penalty, as the Raiders are doing a good job on the kill, as the Presidents have had one or two opportunities. Now the Raiders throw it back out. Quincy trying to clear the zone, gets the players out of the zone, thrown back in, picked up, and uh, mishandled by Finnegan, picked back up by Conley, but Adams was up to the task and he made the save. 14 seconds left in the period, six seconds left on the power play, no score in a very fast paced, tough first period. One penalty uh, on each side as it's been a very uh, hard fought but a good clean game as both of the prior games also were. Uh, when these kids get together, they come to play hockey, there's no there's no fooling around, very little chippiness. They've both done very well. There's the buzzer to end the first period. As uh, we've now completed one period here with the score North Quincy High 0 and Quincy High 0. Uh, a great first period. Uh, we're going to clean the ice and we'll be back uh, momentarily for the start of the second period. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Bill Graney, uh, along with the all the great cameramen and people out in the truck from Quincy Access TV. We're very proud to bring you this opening round Division II state uh, state tournament uh, game, South Sectional game between the North Quincy Red Raiders and the Quincy High Presidents. The first time these two teams have met uh, in the state tournament. Uh, also, a first for the city of Quincy is this game is being played here at the Quincy Youth Arena. Uh, if you've been following along, if you've just joined us, you missed a terrific first period, but if you, uh, if you were with us for the first period, uh, it was a bond burner. Up and down, up and down. Uh, I'd have to give a slight edge to the, Quincy High uh, to the North Quincy High Red Raiders, but a very slight edge. Uh, but I'd also have to give a tip of the cap to the star of the opening first period will have to be the Quincy High goaltender Jeff Giordani. All right we're just about ready to go as the officials have called both teams to ice. There's the drop of the puck. Draw controlled by the Red Raiders. Giordani throws it into the back. Uh, gets it up along the boards to Walsh as both teams open up with their top lines. Conley Walsh and Seamus uh, McKenna for the Quincy High presidents. Jim Fitzpatrick Brendan Gilmore and uh, Teddy Finnegan for the North Quincy Red Raiders. Gilmore, Fitzpatrick, and uh, Finnegan uh, had an outstanding first period. Uh, they were by, by far uh, the strongest of the three North Quincy lines um, as they had several scoring opportunities. Uh, their opponents, the presidents, Conley Walsh and, and Seamus McKenna did a fine job also. They had a few scoring opportunities. Uh, I didn't expect the low scoring that we've had so far is both previous meetings the uh, offenses were pretty strong but this is a state tournament game and generally in a state tournament game as is in a college playoff game or a Stanley Cup playoff game both teams uh, tighten up a lot and that seems to have been the case here but the puck was just stolen in center ice thrown in a Walsh, Walsh gets it on but Adams was right up to the task as he made a nice save as Seamus McKenna had stolen the puck in the slot, got it over to Walsh, Walsh fired on Adams, but Adams was up to the task as the Presidents have come out firing here in the opening minutes of the second period. Now the puck controlled by the Raiders as they try to get it out of the zone. They do get it out of the zone. Gilmore throws it up, tries to get it for to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick tries to dump it in, can't get it in. Finnegan does dump it in now as they're changing up. Fitzpatrick trying to get off, but he can't get off. But here comes Gilbody breaking it down for the president. It's thrown into the right of Max Adams. It goes behind the net where it's picked up by Fury. Fury throws it along the sideboards to Derek Scott. Scott tries to get it out. He can't. Puck controlled as Winters was flying in, trying to take it away from Conso, but Conso 
threw it off to the right wing boards where he picks the puck back up and he's breaking it out of the zone now. Conso, he's going to... He's not giving that puck up till he goes home. No, now he throws it off to Gilbody. Gilbody tries to get it to his brother, Anthony, but the play was called offside as senior defenseman and uh, one of the uh, alternate captains, Jonathan Conso, on a rink length rush, trying to get his team ignited, but he, locked, he, went, he held on a little too long and he drew a couple of his line mates offside. All right, puck controlled by the presence, thrown in behind the net. Masoni on it, doing the forechecking. But Derek Scott was up to the task, throws it to the back. Rink Lake path by Rodriguez, trying to get it to Nash Winters, but he can't. It's thrown up high over the net, and it hits the screening, and we'll have a draw just, just to the right of Jeff Giordani in the Quincy High Zone as both teams change up. The presidents throw out their number one line, as does uh, Coach Doyle again. He's, both teams are opening up with just two lines here to start the second period. Puck controlled by Finnegan. Finnegan throws it in Fitzpatrick. Here's Gilmore trying to break in. Pushed aside by Leone. Nice, nice check by Leone as he throws him off. Fired in Don Finnegan. Finnegan hits the post as it got by Giordani, but the goaltender's best friend made the save from the post. Picked up again by Fitzpatrick. He throws it in, and Giordani was up to the task as this line off the draw of Fitzpatrick, Gilmore, and Finnegan. Very explosive. They just had... Okay, here we got coming up is a, is a nice play as Gilmore tries to bring it in, and we get a nice hit by senior defenseman uh, Mike Leone. On the other side, we're back to live action as the president's control. Puck controlled by Conley. Conley brings it in, throws it in front, tries to get it to Walsh. Walsh can't bang it home. Good scoring opportunity by the president's. Puck controlled by Conso. Conso picks it up, loses it. Picked up in the, in the Quincy high end by Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick along the boards, being pushed and shoved by Conso. Conso doing a nice job. Puck controlled by Conley. Conley now tries to throw it out, kept back in. Tipped by Tipped by Winter. Winter throws it in front. Nobody home. Picked up by Walsh. Walsh ahead to McKenna. McKenna's one on two as he's got nobody with him. Just throws it in on Adams. Adams decides to hold on and he'll take a face off to his left. We've played three and a half, three and a half minutes here in the, in the second period. Both teams have had a couple of good scoring opportunities, but we're still scoreless. Draw controlled by the radar, by Quincy. Throws it back in on Adams. Uh, as Zach McCall got a, a quick shot off, but Max Adams was up to the task and made the save as the presidents have Kevin Keith, Zach McCall, and Andrew Bythrow out there right now. And the Raiders are responding with McKeon, Rodriguez, and Nash Went The puck controlled by no one, and it's thrown back out into neutral ice where it's picked up by defenseman Matt Fury. He takes it. Over into the corner, throws it up along the boards. Picked up by Rod Rodriguez. He loses it. Thrown back in the North Quincy zone by Conso. Now it's picked up by defenseman Derek Scott. Scott tries to throw it in but can't control it. Where it's picked up by Matt Lawler. Lawler tries to throw it in front but nobody's home. Picked up again by the president. Derek Scott tries to keep it in and he can. Here's a breakout by Andrew Bythrow. Bythrow throws it in, but he doesn't get anywhere. Here comes the Raiders breaking out now. Up along the boards, picked up by Rodriguez. He's breaking in on the right. Leone is on him tight. Leone pushing and shoving, pushes him off the puck where it's picked back up by Matt Lawler. Lawler throws it in front, tries to get it to Morris. Morris throws it in front where it's picked up by Rodriguez. Rodriguez taps it over to the corner where Giordani had made the save. Joe Morris throws it behind the net as North Quincy has a little bit of control of the play here as they change up again. And now it's thrown down as Quincy ices it. A little bit of a flurry right there in the North, in the Quincy high end by the North Quincy Red Raiders as they head out uh, uh, their line of Morris Lawler and Zach Deegan. And they did, uh, they did a very nice job of controlling, controlling the action. And they're still out there. And they're up against Gilbody, Gilbody, and Masoni for the presidents. 
Puck controlled by Noah. Now picked up by North Quincy. North Quincy throws it in front. Can't get it home. They're all picking and choosing that if they can't get a hold of it. Now it's picked up by Mark Gilbody. Mark takes it to the right. He's on his own. He's looking for Masoni in front. Can't make the connection. Puck picked back up by Conso on the boards. He throws it back in where it's picked up by Canavan. Canavan knocks it out into uh, center ice where it's picked up by Mike LaBelle. Mike LaBelle scoots it around the corner, gets it to Conso. Conso throws it back in where Canavan controls it in his belly. Drops it, gets the pass up, but thrown out to the neutral zone where it's picked up by Masoni. Masoni then threw it back in. Just a little up and down, up and down. No, no serious offense going right now as we've played almost seven minutes here in the second period. And now the pace has picked up a little bit here with this line of Masoni, Gilbody, and Gilbody as they've done a nice job, but now the Raiders control it as they've gone back to, they've changed up and they've thrown out Gilmore, Finnegan, and Fitzpatrick. Here they are, 2 one none. nice save by Giordani as he kicks it off to his left. Fitzpatrick throws it in front, but nobody's there. It's picked up by Sean McKenna. McKenna gets it ahead to Walsh. Here's Walsh streaking in. He's going in one-on-one. -on -one. Gets by the defenseman, and Max Adams is up to the task as he kicks it off to the right. Some nice stick work by junior captain Teddy Walsh as he split the defense. Gave Adams a little deke, but Adams was up to the task and made a nice save. Now the puck controlled by the Raiders. Fitzpatrick brings it out, tries to get it back to Gilmore, but he can't make the connection. Picked up by Fury. Fury throws it behind the Quincy, Quincy net, where it's picked up now by Leone. Leone throws it up along the boards, tries to make a connection with McKenna, but he can't control it, and it's thrown back down where it's picked up by the defenseman Scott Valentini. Valentini throws it up along the boards, trying to get it to McKenna, and he can't get it. Picked up by the Raiders, thrown in front where Winter's got his stick on it, but couldn't deflect it in front where it's picked up again by Quincy. Quincy struggling to get it out of their zone as the Raiders are pressing a little bit, but they really haven't had a, a, a good shot on net on this shift, but they've controlled the play down in the Quincy end. Puck thrown across the middle, but nobody was home. Red Raiders still on the, uh, on the puck, still on the attack. They keep it in, throw it back in, and now Giordani decides to hold on to it and he'll take the face off. So we're gonna have a face off just to the right of Jeff Giordani as he decided enough was enough and he held on to that last shot. And we're gonna have a change. As both teams, Fitzpatrick, Finnegan, and McKenna are out there and coach Coach Sylvia gets the last change and he's changed up and he's gone with Gilbody, Gilbody and Masoni to match up against the Red Raiders first line of Gilmore, Fitzpatrick and Finnegan. Puck controlled by Masoni. Masoni throws it down along the boards and it's in behind the North Quincy net where it's thrown up along the right boards by Fitzpatrick as they try to get it out. They can't get it out. Shot fired in on defense by Mike LaBelle, which went uh, just to the right of Matt Adams. Puck now is in the neutral zone where it's picked up by the Raiders. The Raiders controlling the puck. Weak shot on net by Finnegan. The Nets come ajar, and we have a whistle, and we'll have a face-off just to the right of Giordani. As the Raiders started a little flurry, but were unsuccessful, and with a little pushing and shoving in front of the net, the net come off the moorings. So we'll have a draw just to the right of Giordani in a very fast pace. Not many whistle whistles in this period as we've already played uh, eight and a half minutes as we have six and a half minutes left. The Raiders send out Winter, McKeon, and Rodriguez. Walsh, Conley, and Seamus McKenna are out there for the Quincy High president. Up ahead trying to get it to Conley. Puck controlled by Fury. Fury knocks it back in. Rodriguez trying to pick it up. Handled nicely by the defenseman, Leone, who sends it right back up along the wing boards. Uh, can't quite get it out. Now we're coming up the other side. McKenna trying to get it out. He can. Picked up by Casey Conley. Here comes Conley down the right-hand side. Trying to get it ahead to Seamus McKenna. McKenna loses it where it's picked up by Scott Fury. Taken along the other side where freshman defenseman Jim Finn picks up the puck. He throws it in behind the net. 
Quincy now in a little bit of a flurry, but it's picked up by North Quincy, and here comes the Raiders out of their own zone. They spread it wide as they try to get it around, but they were unsuccessful as Derek Scott tried to bring it in, took a little hip check from Captain Teddy Walsh, and we have an offside, and we have a face-off just outside. Just outside. No, we're going to have North Quincy call for Rison, as I thought. We had, had an offside, but the referees thought a little better, and they've decided it was an icing that the Quincy High defenseman couldn't play it, so the draw is just to the left of goaltender Max Adams. Draw controlled by the president. McKenna with the puck, gets it in. Kicked aside by Max Adams. Thrown back over in the corner as the Raiders try to get it out of their, out of their zone. Kept in by Conso. Conso throws it along the boards. But it's picked up by Canavan. Canavan gets it out. There's no icing this time. And now the puck is down in the Red Raider end. In the Quincy High President's end as the Raiders are pressing, trying to keep it in the Quincy zone. They do keep it in. Now it's knocked back out. No, it's kept in by Canavan again. But now it's handled by Casey Conley. And he brings it out. He's scurrying along down the right-hand boards. Throws it in behind the net. Picks his own uh, dump in up himself. Has it behind the net as he's trying to get it in front. Can't get it in front. Picked up by Finnegan. Finnegan sends it up high. It hits the roof, and we'll have a face-off just to the left of Adams. Five minutes left here in the second period, a very fast-paced second period as we're still in have a scoreless tie. I can't call it a defensive battle as there's been plenty of offense as both goaltenders have been very strong. I did expect a little more scoring, but that doesn't seem to be... Uh, the case this evening is this may just end up a one or two goal game. Draw controlled by the Raiders. Raiders get it out into neutral zone. Picked back up by the Quincy, North Quincy defense. They throw it back down where it's picked up by Leone. Leone tries to get it out, can't get it out. Picked up by Fury. Fury gets it over to Scott. Scott behind the net. Tries to get it up to William. Fitzpatrick picks it up. Fitzpatrick throws it out to Gilmore. Gilmore can't get going. Here comes Gilmore trying to pick up a head of steam as he breaks down the middle. Tries to throw it in, but he's handled very well by, by defenseman Valentino. Made a nice play in the neutral zone to take the puck away from Gilmore. Puck now controlled by the presence as they get it out into the neutral zone. Now it's stolen. Picked up by Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick tries to dump it in. Gets it into Gilmore. Gets it into Winter. Winter gets the shot on net, but Giordani was up to the task. Took it off the shoulder and pushed it over in the corner as he made a nice save. Throws it down and we have an icing. There'll be a face-off coming up to Giordani's right as Giordani made a nice save there as Winter picked up the puck and threw it right at him. But Giordani took it on the shoulder and pushed it off over into the corner. McKeon, Winter, and Rodriguez out there for the, for the Raiders. Walsh, Conley, and Seamus McKenna are out there for the Presidents. Puck controlled by the Presidents right now as they get it out into the neutral zone where it's picked, at, picked up by Valpondo. Valpondo throws it back into the Quincy high end. It's, no one can make a connection. Picked back up by the Raiders. Canavan throws it back into the neutral zone. Picked back up by the Presidents as they throw it around behind their net as they're trying to get it out. They can't get it out. Valpondo slips down and here comes McKenna picking it up. Uh, two on two break as McKenna tries to throw it into the middle but can't get it anywhere. Picked up by defense on LaBelle. LaBelle brings it down in the corner, throws it behind the net where it's picked up by Valpondo. Valpondo throws it up along the boards, held in by Conso. Conso throws it in, but it's picked back up by McKean. McKean gets it to Rodriguez. Rodriguez dumps it in his own end as the Raiders make a quick change. As they send back out Finnegan and Gilmore and McKean. McKean's staying out there because he's the four checker as he can't get off. And we have a whistle coming up now. We have a faceoff just outside the North Quincy High bench. Two minutes, 37 seconds left here in the second period of a scoreless tie of this Division II South Sectional State Tournament elimination game being brought to you by QAA TV. Uh, Puck controlled by Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick gives the defenseman a little deke, but Leone makes a great play, gets a stick on it, and it goes up in to the netting just over Giordani's head, and we'll now have a face-off.
just to Giordani's left. Puck controlled by Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick controls the draw, tries to get it back, can. Picked back up and gets ahead to Massoni. Massoni just got it on the end of his stick and couldn't handle it or he would have been in all alone. But the puck now is back down in the president's end. Massoni throws it from behind. It goes in off Adams' back and goes into the net. And the Quincy High presidents pick up, pick up a goal. And they'll take a goal any way they can get it. As Massoni, Massoni picks it up. We're going to show the replay now. We got the replay coming up. Here it is. Massoni's working behind the net. As you can see, he comes back in and he throws it at Adams' is back and it goes in off his back into the net and the Presidents have taken a one to nothing lead with two minutes left here in the second period. As I said, it, anything can happen in this type of a game. It's been a scoreless tie. And that was a, a fluke goal, but the Quincy High Presidents will take it. A heads up play by McKenna, by Massoni rather, as he uh, threw it at the net, it bounced in off Adams' back and went in the net, and the Presidents have a one to nothing lead. North Quincy comes back as Fitzpatrick stole it, tried to get a shot on net, but Giordani made the save. 135 left here in the second period, one nothing, Quincy High Presidents on that goal by Nick Massoni, a junior right winger. And now the draw is controlled by the Presidents. Here comes North Quincy, they're coming in all along. Here comes Finnegan in. Finnegan hits the top of the pipe. He put it over Giordani's shoulder. That's the second, second time the pipe has come to the aid of Giordani. Uh, as Finnegan gave him a little head fight, it went up over his shoulder and it hit the top crossbar. As the Raiders seem to have be a little bit snake bitten on some of their scoring opportunities today. Great play by Finnegan. Uh, as he cleanly beat Giordani, but it hit the top crossbar and banged away. 109 left here as Gilbody is removed from the box. Massoni goes in to take the draw. Draw controlled by controlled by uh, the Red Raiders. Nash went the four checking behind the net. Uh, Rodriguez back there too. Rodriguez now has the puck. Winter moving over, trying to get it. 52 seconds left as the Raiders are pressing as they're trying to get the equalizer before they go into the locker room at the end of the second period, and the puck goes up over the glass. We have 46 seconds left. The Presidents now lead one to nothing on a goal by junior forward and winger uh, Nick Massoni on a very heads-up play behind the net as he threw it in front. It ricocheted in off uh, the back of Adams' leg and was in the net and they now have a one nothing lead. North Quincy now pressing a little bit, trying to get the equalizer with 40 seconds left. As it was controlled by nobody but taken out by Seamus McManus as he brought it out into neutral ice. Puck in the neutral zone. Finnegan with it, he's trying to dump it in, trying to get it ahead to Gilmore. Can't make the connection. Finnegan picks it back up. Makes a little move, gets it over to Gilmore. By Gilmore, Fitzpatrick trying to pick it up. Here's Fitzpatrick trying to get in. Oh, puck loose. Uh, nice shot by Fury. Banged aside by Giordani, and now Giordani, he covers it. As with 10 seconds left, the Raiders tried to respond as Fitzpatrick had it on the left wing boards. Threw it in front. Finnegan picked it up. Threw a shot. The puck was loose. Giordani swiped at it. He knocked it away. It came back in front, but he finally made the save. Nice little flurry by the Raiders, but... A great response by goaltender Jeff Giordani as he uh, made the save of the game just then and there. All right, draw control by the Presidents, and they knock it out. Seven seconds left, three seconds left. That's going to wrap up the second period. And there's the buzzer to end the second period. Once again, a very well-played, hard-fought second period with the Presidents scoring with two minutes left on a goal by junior forward Nick Massoni who was playing with the puck behind the net, just threw it in front, it deflected in off of Adams and the Presidents are gonna go to the locker room with a one to nothing lead. We'll be back momentarily with the start of the third period which should be a bond burner as the Presidents go into the locker room one to nothing.
Okay, ev okay, everybody, welcome back as the North Quincy Red Raiders have made their appearance to start the third period, followed by the Quincy High Presidents. We have 15 minutes left in this game. Quincy High holding on to a one goal lead on a goal with two minutes left in the second period by junior winger Nicky Massoni, who had it behind the net, was looking for somebody in front, threw it in front. Looked like it ricocheted off Adams' leg and went into the net for the only goal of this game. So I'm expecting the Red Raiders to come out of the room to start this third period with as much gas as they've got in their tank. One, one zip. As I said, I, a well, well played game. I had given a little bit of the edge to the Red Raiders. I called it a 55-45 game, but now I'd have to say... Uh, this is a 50-50 game as whenever whenever these two teams get together, it's it's nothing but tremendous, tremendous uh, hard work, uh, character by both teams, and every player on both bench along with the coaching staff uh, have shown this uh, throughout the entire evening during both periods. Okay, as we get set to drop this puck, the Raiders have their number one line out, Fitzpatrick Gilmore and Teddy Finnegan, Walsh, Casey Conley, and Seamus McKenna are out there for the Quincy High Presidents as we've dropped the puck and the puck is now in the North Quincy zone. Where Gilmore tried to get it ahead, but we got a hand pass called on defenseman Matt Fury and we'll have a draw just outside the end. We're just 15 seconds into this period. Draw control by nobody, thrown along in the neutral zone. Picked up by Jim Finn, freshman defenseman Finn. Hey, he throws it in. This Quincy High team is a very, very young team. I think they only have two seniors. I'm pretty sure they only have two seniors. Puck controlled by Casey, gets it to one of the freshmen, McCall. McCall lets it go, nice save by Max Adams. Puck picked up by Conley, Conley throws it wide. Thrown back in by Walsh as the Presidents are setting the pace here in the opening minutes. Puck controlled by defenseman, freshman defenseman Finn. As there are three, three players that play a lot that are freshmen on this team. We got Seamus McKenna, number 28. We have young defenseman Jim, Jim Finn, number seven. And we also have number 40, one of the wingers, Zach McCall. He's also a freshman, a very, very young and talented team. Uh, the Presidents are going to be a team that need to be reckoned with for the next uh, two or three years. Puck controlled by the Presidents as Gilbody tries to get it in, tries to get it over to his brother, uh, Mark, but they can't make the connection as Masoni's working hard along the other wing boards. Anthony picks it up, tries to center it to Mark, but he can't control it. Puck chopped at by Masoni. Masoni loses it. North Quincy tries to get it ahead to Winter. Winter can't make the connection. Winter picks it up back in front as Giordani falls down, but Winter also falls down. And the puck comes off the moorings and we're gonna have a face-off just to the right of Giordani as Winters went flying down along the right boards, along the right dasher, but he couldn't quite control it as he lost the puck behind the net and the puck came off, off the moorings. As it's cleared the length of the ice by Conso and we're gonna have an icing and we're gonna bring it right back down into the Quincy High end. We've almost played two minutes, a one to nothing, a very close, close game. Draw control by the, by the President's Day, bring it around the back. Uh, Conso tries to get it up to Walsh. Walsh controls it, but it's thrown back in, but Gilmore was still in the zone. He clears out of the zone. Picked that back up by LaBelle. LaBelle tries to get it up to Conso. He can't make the connection. Picked back up by Fitzpatrick. He gets it in front to Finnegan. Finnegan fires. Giordani makes the save, thrown back in by Fury as there's a little rush now by the Raiders as they're controlling the puck down in the Quincy High zone. Jimmy Fitzpatrick tries to control the puck, and he can't. Picked up by Walsh, Walsh throws it in. But Derek Scott keeps it in. Puck's thrown back out by the Presidents as the Presidents ice it again. As the Raiders 
attempted to take control down there while they had it in the president's end, but the president's iced the puck twice, and we're going to have a draw just, just to the left of Giordani. Little, little less than three minutes gone here in the third period of a one to nothing game with the president's on top. Draw control by no one as Quincy throws it out into the neutral zone, picked up by Canavan. Canavan tries to get it in the Quincy end, but it's pinched up along the boards. Uh, where we have three players fighting along the right dash. A puck knocked back out, picked up by senior alternate captain Mike Leone on defense. He throws it out into the neutral zone. The puck's back out into the neutral zone where it's controlled by the president, where it's dumped in by Zach McCall, number 40, one of the three freshman players that skate regular shifts on the president's team. But now the puck's controlled by Winters. Winters gets it in the neutral zone, dumps it in. McKeon on the forecheck. McKeon throws it over, but nobody's home as the Raiders are changing up. Puck controlled by Leone. Leone's bringing it up the right boards. He dumps it in as the presidents now get a change. Puck picked up by Valpondo. Valpondo gets it ahead to Finnegan. Finnegan taps it, lets it go down. Finnegan picks it back up. Finnegan loses it. Puck picked up by Anthony Gilbody. Anthony tries to break in, can't break in. Throws it in front where it's tried to be picked up by, by Mark Gilbody, but nobody can control this because Patrick gets it out and throws it back in the neutral ice. Puck picked up by Gilmore. Gilmore throws it into the belly of Conso. Conso drops it down where it's dumped back in to North Queens again by the Presidents as they make a change. Quick, brisk changes by both teams as the pace is picked up a little bit more here in the third period with just a little more than 10 minutes left in this game and the Quincy High President's holding a one to nothing lead. Puck picked up by Conley. Conley brings it into the middle. Save made by Max Adams as he holds on. And he'll take the draw to his right. 35 40 second quick shifts by both teams. As the Raiders change up and they send out McKeon, Winters and Rodriguez. Puck controlled by nobody. Walsh banging along the boards with McKeon. Puck controlled by the Raiders. Here comes Winter. Winter breaking out along the right boards. Tries to make a move for the middle. Can't quite get in. Feeds it in front. Puck thrown in front. Nobody home. And Giordani falls on it as Winters broke down the right wing boards. Gave a right head fake. Cut into the middle. Almost made it all the way through. Did throw it in on Giordani. Giordani made... The initial save, it came back out. He dove on it and elected to take a whistle as the presidents uh, will hold to have the draw just to their right. Controlled by North Quincy, thrown in by, by Fury. Fury on the, on the left point, throws it back in front, trying to get it in front of Winter. Played in front, back out to Fury, picked back up again by the Red Raiders. McKeon tries to throw it in front. Rodriguez now at the puck. Rodriguez steals the puck. Picked that up by McKeon. McKeon fighting for it along the boards. It goes back into the middle where it's picked up by Conley. <coughs> Excuse me. Conley breaking out. Comes into the middle. Pushed off the puck by Derek Scott. Nice play by Scott on defense. Gives the puck to Walsh. Walsh throws it in front and Adams makes the save. Nice play by... Captain Teddy Walsh, as he stole the puck, brought it into the middle. We only could get off a weak shot, but a nice save by Adams as we've just gone under the 10 minute mark here in the third period with the president holding a slim one nothing lead. Puck controlled by Gilbody. Gilbody tries to get it to Massoni. Can't control it, picked up by Fitzpatrick behind the net. Fitzpatrick trying to get it up the boards to Finnegan. Fitzpatrick picks it back up. He moves to his right, gets around Valentini. Can't quite get it in. Pushed off by Valentini. A nice play by Valentini as he directed uh, senior captain Jimmy Fitzpatrick off to the right, and Fitzpatrick could only get a weak shot on net. Puck controlled by the Raiders. Now picked up by Canavan. Canavan throws it in, but it can't get all the way through. Valenti knocks it back out in the center ice, where it's picked up by the Red Raiders again, getting over to Gilmore. Gilmore throws it in to Finnegan. Finnegan. 
Back checked uh, off the play by Anthony Gilbody. Kept back in by Valpondo. Valpondo throws it behind the net. Puck behind the, behind the president's net as they ice the puck. And we'll have a draw just down to Giordani's right with eight and a half minutes left here in the third period of this Division II South sectional state tournament game as both the North Quincy High Red Raiders and the Quincy High Presidents coming off good seasons, both qualified for this tournament. Quincy High as the number eight seed in the Division II and North Quincy High as the number nine seed uh, in the division. The first time they've ever done battle in a state tournament game. It's been a well-played, hard-fought game. A great game to call, and I'm sure that everybody here in a sold-out Quincy Youth Arena where they're five and six deep down by the glass. The stands have been filled since they opened the doors at seven o'clock where they had a line almost all the way out to C Street of students and parents and alumni waiting to get into this game and they've been treated to a dandy by both these teams. Puck controlled by the presidents. They can't get it out. And we have a, I believe it was a hand pass being called uh, in the Quincy High zone, which calls for an automatic whistle and a draw back down in the North Quincy uh, end. By throw Keith and Zach McCall out there for the presidents. Winter, McKeon, and Rodriguez out there for the Red Raiders. Puck thrown in front by the presidents. Now thrown in front again. A spin, spin move by Kevin Keith as he got it on, on Max Adams, but he was up to the task. Now the puck's controlled by Conso. Conso throws it back in. Picked back up by Keith. Keith throws it along the right boards where it's behind the net. Keith holding off the defenseman. As Zach McCall comes in to take the puck, tries to throw it in front, but can't get it in front. It's picked back up by McKeon. McKeon throws along the boards, tries to get it to Winter. Winter throws it into the Quincy high end and goes charging in after it, but can't make the connection. Puck's thrown back out into the neutral zone where it's picked up by Valpondo. Valpondo throws it back into the president's end, but it's kicked back out, and we're back now in the neutral zone. Fitzpatrick on the puck. Tries to poke check it into the Quincy High zone, but can't make the connection. And now it's along the right boards. As Finnegan's trying to dig it out, he loses it to Walsh. Walsh picks it up for the Red Raiders. Picked back up now by Gilmore. Gilmore breaking in. He gets in, he fires! And Gilmore puts it up in the right-hand corner as the North Quincy Red Raiders have tied this game with six minutes and 52 seconds on a fantastic goal by sophomore sensation, Brandon Gilmore, who stole the puck in the neutral zone and spun it and went down to the corner. We're gonna get a look at this fantastic play by Gilmore coming up right here on the replay. Gilmore, he moves to his left, gets by the defense and looks up in the corner, puts it over Giordani's shoulder, a textbook goal, and we now have a 1-1 game with just under seven minutes left uh, in the third period as the complexion of this game has changed as the North Quincy fans have come alive. Uh, and this is gonna be a heck of a last seven minutes. This is gonna be a, a heck of a last six minutes as the North Quincy Red Raiders have come back to score on a goal by Brandon Gilmore with the Cisco and a Jimmy Fitzpatrick and defenseman Joe Canavan as we're quickly approaching the six minute mark of the third period and we now have a 1-1 game. Uh, a fantastic goal by Gilmore, but now we're gonna have to settle down and watch as to see how these two teams adjust to, these, to the last six minutes where the next goal will probably be the game winner if we get it done in if we get it done in regulation but it's almost like an overtime game now this game will go to overtime if it ends in a 1-1 tie and at the end of the overtime with a new rule in the MAIA this year we will then go to a shootout but let's see what happens if it's going to end that way 
Puck stolen just now in front by North Quincy. And they almost scored, but Giordani was up to the task. We have a little pushing and shoving going on, and it looks like we're gonna have matching penalties right here. We are gonna have matching penalties. As, and it's double 15s. Anthony Gilbody going to the box for the Presidents. Josh McKeon going to the box for the Red Raiders. 15s are wild as they're both going in. We have a matching penalty. 527 left in the third period. It'll remain five on five as these penalties will offset each other. Draw just to the right of Giordani, controlled by the Raiders. Fitzpatrick behind the net, trying to get it in front. Can't get it in front as the North Quincy High stands have now come alive and they're trying to get their team fired up. I'm sure there'll be a response momentarily from the Quincy High end of the arena. Puck controlled by Finnegan as he can't quite get it out. Valpondo down on it. Taken by Canavan. Canavan gets it up along the boards to Finnegan, to Gilmore. Gilmore gets it over to Finnegan. Finnegan lets it go! Great shot by Teddy Finnegan as he, uh, as he tried to get the, the Raiders in front, but Gilmore was up, but Giordani was up to the task, fired the glove out, got it. Here's a right in front, right in front to Seamus McManus. McKenna, rather, he can't quite control it. Knocked back in by Conso. Puck goes down behind the president's end. Derek Scott tries to take it out. Finnegan can't control it along the boards. Puck thrown back down into the Raiders' end. 422 left here in the third period, 1-1 one, one tie. Division II South Sectional State Elimination Tournament game. North Quincy Red Raiders, Quincy High Presidents. Brought to you by QA, Quincy Access TV. Live here at Quincy Youth Arena. A bond burner, 1-1, one, one, four minutes left. As the Presidents try to break it in, but Fury is up to the task and he breaks up Gilbody. Puck picked up. Now it's behind the net. Masoni fighting for it behind the net. Can't get it in front. Picked up by Andrew Bythrow. Bythrow to Masoni. Masoni tries to throw it in front. Can't be controlled by Gilbody. As Mark tried to throw it in front. Picked up now by the North Quincy Red Raiders and they get it out as the Raiders make a change. Both teams trying to make a change and we're gonna have an icing. Three minutes, 30 seconds left in the game, 1-1. One, one. As the Red Raiders responded with six minutes left in the third period on a goal by sophomore, Brandon Gilmore as he beat Giordani over his right hand shoulder into the top corner of the net. Draw control by the Presidents. Uh, Teddy Walsh with the puck, knocks it out into the neutral zone. Uh, can't quite control it. The North Quincy High School fans trying to get their team inspired as they're clanging away with let's go Raiders to my right. 3.06 left here in the third period. Puck controlled by the Red Raiders. Puck behind, behind the net. Nobody has it right now. It's still moved along. Fitzpatrick picks it up. Gets it in a shot on... Shot on Giordani. He's up to the task. And the puck was covered by Giordani and we'll have a face off just to his right. A very fast, well played game, 1-1. One, one. I would expect nothing less from both these teams. The emotion is at its peak right now with three minutes left here. As everybody's standing up. The stands, no one's sitting down in the stands as this, this last three minutes is gonna be something else. Puck controlled by Quincy. Uh, Casey Conley with the puck, trying to get it in front, can't. Taken off the play by Canavan. Canavan steals it as Masoni comes around the net and tries to bang it in and he can't and the puck's off the moorings and we're gonna have a draw just to the right of, we're gonna have a draw just outside the North Quincy zone as the puck coming off the, off the moorings was a result of a Quincy player uh, crashing the net and knocking the net off the morning so it will be outside. This, kid, this gives both teams the opportunity to change up. 
the Raiders send out McKeon, Rodriguez, and Winter. The Presidents have Bythro, Keith, and McCall out there. 2.24 left. 1-1. One, one. Anybody's game. State elimination tournament game. Nice shot by Kevin Keith, but Adams was up to the task as he sticks his right leg out and makes a nice save. Picked back up by Keith as he fires it in again wide as the Presidents have taken control here, but now North Quincy gets it out. Rodriguez fighting to try to get it down into his own zone, into the President's zone. He is successful. McKeon picks it up. Gets by McKeon. McKeon gets it over to Rodriguez. Rodriguez throws it in front, but he can't make the connection with, with Winter. Puck picked up now by Derek Fury. He tries to throw it up. He gets it to Winter. Winter breaking in, but nice back checking by Captain Teddy Walsh, and he takes a lot a lot of the steam off that shot with some great back checking by Walsh. 139 left, 1-1 one, one tie. North Quincy High Red Raiders, Quincy High Presidents. This game is a state elimination tournament game. It also is for the city championship as they split the regular season 1-1. One, one. So whoever takes this game along with advancing in the tournament will have a little bit of bragging rights as the city, as the city champion in hockey for the 2006-2007 uh, hockey season. 116 left, Walsh coming down the boards. Tries to get in, can't get in. Puck picked up, fed out to Leone. Leone gets it in, nice save, nice save, but they are banging was Casey Conley. And Conley threw it back in front. We got a little scrum in front as Quincy was very aggressive as we look over at that clock and that clock shows one minute left here in the third period. One minute left and a scoreless tie as we have a little uh, equipment problem right in front so we're gonna have a, a temporary uh, delay here as senior goaltender Max Adams uh, fixes his equipment and gets his, gets his mask back on. So we've played 44 minutes. It comes down to this final minute. Nobody's left this arena as they're fighting to get spots in front. Uh, a game that both teams do, that both teams can be proud to have participated in. Uh, it's going to be a tough loss for whoever loses this game as it's 1-1 with just a minute left here in the third period. Draw controlled by North Quincy. They get it out of the zone. Puck in the neutral zone. Picked back up by the Raiders. The Raiders trying to get it out. They can't. Puck stolen by Leone. Leone loses it. Picked up by Gilmore. Here comes Gilmore again as he's trying to get through. Can't quite get through. Derek Fury moves in quickly. Keeps it back in the president's zone. Keeps it back in again. Gets a shot off. Can't. Now it's controlled by the, the Raiders. Now it's picked up by the presidents. Knocked away again. 22 seconds left. Leone fires. Gets the shot on net. Walsh throws it up and it goes high upstairs into the screen. The puck, the draw will be outside the zone with 15 seconds left. Fifth, yes. Okay. All right, 15 seconds left. If this game ends in a tie, this game I uh, will go to an overtime period. After one overtime period, if it still remains a tie, it'll be a shootout. That's a new rule this year in the MAIA in an effort to cut back on some of the games from previous years that went two and three overtimes. So we got 14 seconds left as the puck trickles in the neutral zone, thrown back down into the north into the Quincy end where it's controlled by Quincy. Puck thrown back down, three, two, one, and we will be going to overtime. As the game has ended in a 1-1 tie, we've played three periods of a 1-1 tie. I'm not sure if they will be cleaning the ice or not. I'm gonna have to take a peek and see. Uh, I don't believe they're going to as the Zamboni door isn't opening up. Both teams are meeting over at, meeting over at center ice at, at their respective benches as both the coaches are talking to them. We have one referee at each bench that uh, must be explain, explaining the rules. 
And as I said, I'm not sure if they'll make a new sheet of ice or not. As we have a very tense Quincy, Quincy Youth Arena here. No one's left the building. Uh, the, stand, the fans are standing in both ends. It's a one-to-one -one tie. And I guess we're going to play. A, they just threw, they threw three minutes up on the board. We have uh, MIA officials down there. Uh, explaining the situation right now to Coach Doyle. I'm sure when they're finished that they will go over to the Quincy High bench and explain it to Coach Bob Sylvia as they're ticking off at, I believe it's a, it must be a three minute rest period uh, before we're gonna start this overtime. Uh, the overtime, I believe, I, I read it in the paper on Sunday, I believe it's an eight-minute overtime. It's either an eight- or a five-minute overtime. Uh, I'm not quite sure, which then will just be followed by a, a, a shootout, a new rule this year uh, in the state hockey tournament in all divisions. As uh, when I got home this evening, I glanced through, I glanced through the paper and I looked at some of the results from the play-in games of the Super 8 tournament last evening, and I saw that one of those games did go to a shootout. Uh, I don't remember which uh, game it was, but it was a one overtime period, uh, and then it went to a shootout, and it was a 2-1 game in the shootout for the winner. So they set the clock up for three minutes. I believe uh, I'm pretty comfortable with the fact that this three minutes is uh, just a brief rest period as these kids have poured their hearts out tonight uh, on both sides, the North Quincy High Presidents and the Quincy Red Raiders. As we're right beside the Red Raider bench right here, uh, and, and they're all, you know, not a soul is left. I look around the building, and they're seven, eight, and nine deep uh, uh, on the glass. As here, we got a shot now of the Red Raider fans. As there, right, we got Yaku right in front. We got the red and the black stripes as the Raiders are starting to get fired up here at Quincy Youth Arena. They have a little bit of an advantage because they're right beside us. As the Quincy High fans are way down the back, and uh, we're going to try to get the other camera on the Quincy High fans as they're a little bit frustrated that the Red Raider fans are getting all the action right now. As we're just under a minute, uh, as the clock wears down before we start this overtime period. You couldn't have asked for much more in this game. This has been a great game. It's been a bond burner. Uh, I'm sure both coaches are very, very proud of their teams. One team's going to go home a winner. One team's going to go home heartbroken. But they... they One team's going to go hot, go home heartbroken, as they did uh, just announced over the PA system that it is an eight-minute overtime. I was correct, so we're going to play. We're going to play an eight-minute overtime. As there's the buzzer, the refs calling them to center ice, and here we go. This is a eight-period sudden death overtime game first team first team that scores uh, wins the game's over uh, I wish them both I wish them both the best as I said it's a shame somebody's got to go home a, go home a loser as the North Quincy High fans uh, try to get the crowd try to get the the crowd into the game is their chant let's go Raiders as the Raiders do control the draw in the opening minutes, puck thrown, opening seconds here of this overtime, puck thrown in the center ice. Both teams have their big guns out there, their big lines. Uh, puck now controlled by Finnegan. Finnegan throws it in, goes right on net. Saved by Giordani, and he's got to cover it up as Finnegan blasted one right from the middle. He went into the slot, he let it go. Giordani got his glove on it, couldn't hold it, but it fell in front of him, and he fell down on the puck. And he's getting up a little gingerly, bouncing around, but he looks okay now. Okay, there's the draw. 
Puck control by Quincy. Quincy trying to get it out of their own zone. Throw it way up high, trying to make a connection with Masoni. They can't quite make the connection, but Masoni four checks and it's stolen away by Casey Conley. Casey Conley now controls the puck. Stolen by Rodriguez. Rodriguez trying to break in as as Quincy is uh, sh shaking one of their lines up a little bit, as Nicky Massoni is out there now with Conley and Walsh. That was the big line for the whole season. Uh, but Coach Silva had made a few changes tonight. The Raiders try to control it. They get it back in. There's another shot. They've controlled the play in the first few minutes, but they only had one really good scoring opportunity. Now Winter has the puck behind the net. He's looking. He's trying to get it in front. Tries to get it to Canavan on the point, but he can't. Puck controlled by nobody. Thrown back out where it's picked up by Gilmore. Gilmore is breaking in. Goes to his left. Takes it behind the net. Trying to get it home. Throws it in front. Kicked aside by Giordani. As we played a minute and 30 seconds in the overtime, and the Raiders have completely controlled the play. The Ra uh, Raiders get a great scoring opportunity. McKeon tried to put it in the left corner, but Giordani was up to the save, and he made a fantastic save to keep the Presidents in the game with six minutes left here in sudden death overtime. A fine save by sophomore goaltender Jeff Giordani on a nice play by uh, McKeon, but McKeon quite couldn't tuck it in the corner. Okay, draw control by the Presidents. They throw it down. Okay, here's the Presidents breaking in. Gets it over. Uh, great scoring opportunity by, by the Quincy High Presidents as Gilbody brought it down, drew the defenseman over, attempted to get it over to Keith, but couldn't make the connection as Keith's shot went wide uh, in what was a good scoring opportunity that was unsuccessful for the Quincy High Presidents. Okay. Walsh, Conley, and Masoni out there now. Puck broken up by the Raiders. Uh, brought back into the neutral zone. They couldn't quite keep it in as Gilmore tried to keep it in. Here comes Mas Masoni skating up the right. Big shot by Masoni. Max Adams makes the save. Fitzpatrick with the puck down in the North Quincy end. Trying to get it in front, but they're going to call it icing. As the Red Raiders tried to snap Fitzpatrick uh, out of the zone, but... The pass was a little too long. He couldn't quite catch up to it. And we have an icing, and we'll have a face-off down in the North Quincy uh, end of the arena. 1-1. Three minutes into sudden death overtime. 5.32 left in the sudden death overtime. Nobody can see it. Walsh picks it up. Walsh gets it out to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick can't make the handle on it. Picked that back up by Casey Conley. Shot by Conley. Saved by Adams as he makes a nice save and he elects to hold on to it. And we're going to have a draw just to the left of senior goaltender Max Adams. Okay. Time left in the overtime. 5.18 left in the overtime. We've played three minutes. North Quincy opened up the first couple of minutes. Here's a big steal in front of Walsh. Walsh can't quite make the handle. Nice steal by Shane McShaw, Seamus McKenna, nice deal. Now it's back up to Fitzpatrick as they pull the plug. They got it in front of Gilmore, and the Raiders score. The Red Raiders have scored with three minutes left in the overtime. Quinty Youth Arena has gone wild. North Quinty fans are jumping up and down. I'm sure after this celebration that we're going to have a good look at this goal. It looked like to me that this goal was scored by Brandon Gilmore, his second goal on a great feed by Jimmy Fitzpatrick. And ladies and gentlemen, when you watch this game, oh, all right, we're gonna have the replay right now. Here it is, Fitzpatrick centers it over. It looked like it looked like uh, Brendan Gilmore to me. It was either Gilmore or Finnegan. I'm pretty sure it was Gilmore. Uh, I'm not absolutely positive, but it was a fantastic goal 
and a great ending to one of the finest high school games. I've seen a lot of North Quincy High, Quincy High games, and this was a fantastic game from start to finish. As I said, you've got a very two very emotional teams, one at an all-time high and one at an un unbelievable low. As the North Quincy Red Raiders have defeated the Quincy High Presidents two to one in sudden death overtime. As you look at these two teams as they go down the line, these kids, they play together all year long. They play on uh, Quincy youth teams, midget teams. Uh, they're the best of friends. Uh, they have to separate for three months during the season uh, and go to their respective high schools and they play like gentlemen. Uh, the sportsmanship uh, is at the highest, highest level all the time. A, a fantastic game uh, as the North Quincy High Red Raiders will go on. The Quincy High Presidents uh, unfortunately are done for the year. Uh, as I said, a tremendous, tremendous game. Both these teams have, have nothing, nothing to be ashamed of. Quincy High, I know they're dejected, I know they're down. All their heads are down as they go to the locker room. But they had a fantastic season. The Raiders had a great season. Uh, and this game uh, ends with the North Quincy High Red Raiders beating the Quincy High Presidents uh, two to one as both teams are now leaving and going to their respected locker rooms. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, all the people in the truck, uh, all the cameramen, they did a fantastic job. I had a great time calling this game. I don't know if we're gonna do another game I hope we can uh, do the next North Quincy game if it's at all possible. So here's the final score for the final time. Uh, two to one, the North Quincy High uh, presidents win this one. Uh, from all the people here at uh, Quincy Access TV, we bid you a fond farewell and thank you very much.